Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to LEGO Weaponry and today we have a movie prop this time for you guys and this movie prop, well I took my time with it funny enough and it's not so bad on how it turned out to be in the end and I've got to say this is one of the best movie props I've ever made so far and well although the Blade Runner pistol I've made like last year or something like that is alright for what it is but I would say this one is one of the best movie props I've made so far. All because it's one of my in one of my favourite films, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yes, you'll probably know by now on what weapon I probably made or something, due to the fact that the well the main character in the game, well the main antagonist, well the protagonist that is, which is Star Lord. Oh yes, and fair enough I've made his pistol, oh yes, I think the pistol was called the Element Pistol because it could fire different elements from like air to water to fire to earth or I don't know, but that's what that's what I've heard. Anyway, I've made his Element Pistol. I know he's got two, but I've made one just for the fun of it. Anyway, here it is, and yeah, it's not so bad on how it turned out, but I will still show you the similarities between his actual replica and this lego version so yeah but i'll show you it near the end that way it'll be a lot more suitable and more organized and everything else anyway let's have a look at the areas and the well they ain't that much features to be honest i mean there's no moving parts or whatnot but i will still show you the areas and everything else and the details as much as i can so anyway here's the pistol grip obviously the hidden trigger should be around here ish so Yes, the trigger guard like here, the pistol grip guard at the front, I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but I'm just going to call it that for now. Uh, now, well, from what I've seen on the front cover for Guardians of the Galaxy, I've realised, well, you know when you see Star-Lord use this pistol for like a pose or something like that, as you may tell, there's like two lasers, well, one here and one here coming outwards, and they're both green, so... Yes, anyway, um, this top part here is all curved up nicely, as but as the best as I can. And these two parts here, I'm not so sure, but I did it for detail and everything else. So, yes, um, two muzzles right here, one here and one here, um, like so. And yeah, there's not much to it, to be honest. So, yeah, this is bound to be a very short video. I think this is the shortest video I've done so far, but there might be others, but I can't remember. But anyway, this is all I have time for you guys. But if you want to make your, this weapon yourself, you could, like, I don't know, pause the video for yourself and try your best to spectate with this weapon, like, have a look around as much as you can. Well, I'll try my best to keep it still. Well, I could explain some things about it on how I've made it. Well, technically, I used a picture. Well, yeah, that helps a lot. Because <laughs> some people out there might not cope with pictures and just do it by actual instructions, which I don't know if there is any instructions out there for p this particular pistol. But I don't know. I just do it by picture. And, I, well, that's how I make things easily like that. So, yeah, that's just the way I do things with Lego. Anyway, this weapon itself is four studs wide, so... Yeah, these little dots here, I'd say they're studs, so, yeah, they're four studs wide, so, yes, but with these parts here, which are here and here, that would, they would be like three studs wide, because if, because they're a little bit less wider than these, so, yes, but these ones I just used normal cylinder pieces, and how I connected them on there, I just typically used a, there's a crossed up piece on here, like so, so, yeah, that, that, well, that applies for this, this, and this, so, yes, but with this part here, all it is, it's just a two studded wide piece, which is, well, six studs down and two studs wide, so, and up here is, like, um, well, it's got two layers of cylinder pieces, so, Yes, and how I connected this piece, I used these two stud winded up connectors on the sides and just simply place that on, like so, pretty darn basic, but you can do it whenever you, well, however you want it, so yeah, it's up to you. And with these side parts, all I do technically, well, I think these are the longest flat pieces I've got, 
so far out of my own collection. So, yeah, I say, well, you know, count these on how long they are just to be all precise. So, anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. There's sixteen studs long and two studs wide. So, make sure you, if you have those because they're going to go on size here with these parts. I'll, I'll probably recommend these parts because these would like prevent them from moving a lot except for these because well they do move a lot because these ain't actually like that. I just put my... Hang on. I'll, I'll explain to you as I get myself prepared like so. Anyway, let's take this out and uh, if I can take this out too. Yeah. I'll use this, like so, and as you may tell, well this is one of them, as you may tell it's a little bit like that, so yes feel free to have uh, pause around this video and make, if you want to make this pistol yourself, if you're a fan of, um, I don't know, Guardians of the Galaxy and Star Lord's weapons, then this could be one of your choices or something like that, so yeah, this is how I've made my thingy magic. So, yeah, I'll keep it upright so that you can see on how it's made. But, you know, this should be a bird's eye view of the picture itself. So, yeah, don't worry if my hand's in the way. So, you can always use that picture instead. So, yeah, this is how I've made this pistol. But either way, this is all I have time for you guys, unfortunately, today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. But, yes, join me tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, actually. But join me Thursday, that is, as I'll be making another realistic assault rifle for you guys. And this is, well, this is bound to be my second attempt. Because my first attempt weren't so bad, you know. The fact that I had a bipod on this weapon, and it's foldable, and it could be put under the foregrip, and everything else. So, yes, this weapon, I'd say this is made in Austria, or... Yeah, it is Austria. So, yes, either way. I'll be making this good old assault rifle for you guys on Thursday, so yes, make sure you're there. But either way, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and hopefully it was worth your time. If it was, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below on what you think this episode. So help me a lot. If you really liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and keep the channel going. So help me a lot as well. Or else keep up updating the videos that I do as well. Oh yes, feel free. And also, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. There are home pages to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, and all that stuff. So, yes, either way. But if you've missed out on any other of my movie props, well, I'll be leaving a link of the playlist in the description below, just in case if you want to be more interested and see what other movie props I've made, as well as this one, of course. So, yeah, if you're a movie prop type of person. So, yeah, that's just there, just in case if you're interested in more, well... In the past that, that I've made them, so if that makes any sense. Anyway, so yes, join me on Thursday, that is, as I'll be making an Austrian assault rifle, which has been used, funny enough, in Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Well, in that game, you could use this assault rifle in either the campaign, in zombies, or in multiplayer. So, yes, but it has been returned in Black Ops 2, but you can't use it in multiplayer because it's in the future everything else but you can use it in the campaign and you can use it in zombies well in certain maps that is not all maps but in certain maps so yes either way i'll be making this good old austrian assault rifle for you guys and to be honest well in those games i think that this is like the best weapon to use in any situation if it's in either a campaign mission or a multiplayer or a zombies match, you know, because it's a good headshot multiplayer type of accurate weapon and all that. Well, that's just my opinion, but I don't know about you, but I would say it's the best weapon to use in zombies. That's what I'd say. So, yes, either way. So, yes, like I've said already, join me on Thursday for this good old weapon, and as always... And this, if you're new around the channel, you know, welcome, you know, feel free to have a look at my past content and all that stuff in all around in this type of era and all that stuff. So, yes, feel free to have a look around and feel free to give me feedback on what you think so far. So, you know, I'd like, I like to hear some good old suggestions and ideas and thoughts from you guys, you know, you really appreciate, I really appreciate it a lot and all that stuff. And it keeps me happy, that's what I'd say. Either way, Yes, join me Thursday, and as always, enjoy the rest of your days. Salute!